Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Cake. Today we have with us one more budget smartwatch from Boat and it's the Boat Vortex. And in this video, we will do the unboxing and show you its features. So here is the box of the smartwatch. In the front of the box, we have the model name Watch Vortex. And here we have the picture of the watch. And then the key features such as 1.69 inch, 2.5D display, customizable watch faces, and you get multiple sports modes. At this side, we can see it's compatible with both Android and iOS platform. At the back of the box, we can see some more features such as its IP67 dust and sweat proof. You get BMI calculator, call, text and app notification, camera and music control, sedentary alert, custom run plans, sleep, heart and SpO2 monitoring, and the menstruation cycle tracker for females. The MRP of this smartwatch is Rs. 6,990 but it's available to purchase for Rs. 2499 on Clipkart. Now, let's open the box and show you the content. So in the box on the top, we have the watch itself. And guys, this smartwatch is available in 4 colors. Blue, Red, Grey and Black. We will look at the smartwatch in a moment. Let's see what else we have in the box. So here we have the documentation. And this includes warranty card, product catalog from Boat, And here is a user guide. In the user guide, we also have the QR code to download the companion app. And then here we have the charging cable. The charging cable is magnetic and here is how you attach it at the back of the smartwatch. So that's all we have in the box. Now let's look at the smartwatch closely. Boat Watch Vertex is a budget fitness smartwatch. Now looking at the design and build quality, the build quality seems decent keeping in mind the pricing of this smartwatch. The straps are made up of good quality material and feels also comfortable on the hand. So in terms of the design, there is a major issue in this smartwatch. So when the watch was revealed on the Boat website, it was featured like this. Looking at the image, you can see the display seems like an edge to edge display. But now here you can see, we have these thick bezels on the top and at the bottom of the screen. Which is again not bad, keeping in mind the pricing. But this is setting up the wrong expectations for those who are buying it because of the display. Now coming back to the overview, in the front, we have the 1.69 inch display with 2.5D curved glass. And here on this side, we have the crown button to wake up the screen. The body of the smartwatch has a metallic design, though it's made up of plastic. Now looking at the back, we have the charging pins and the sensors for heart rate and SpO2. Now let's turn it on and pair it with our phone. So the smartwatch is on and you can also go through the menu. But let me first connect it to the companion app Portcrest. So here we have the app installed and during the initial setup, it will ask you to connect the watch. And here we have our watch connected and ready to use. Now let's look at the watch features first. So here we are on the watch face and upon long pressing, you can switch between different watch faces. And guys, you can also add more watch faces through the companion app, which I will show you in a moment. About the controls, swiping down from the top shows you the quick settings. And here you can change the brightness and see the connection status. Swiping right or left gives you the access to the quick cards. And here we have the step count, heart rate, SpO2, music and so on. Swiping up from the bottom of the screen shows you the main menu. So here I have noticed that you don't have the quick access to the notifications, which is usually present in all the smartwatches. Now about the menu, first we have the messages, which is the notification history. And then we have the step count. And guys, here I must tell you that the touch response is good and the menu of the smartwatch is stutter free. After the step count, we have the sleep menu and here you can see last night's sleep details. After that, we have the activity menu, which is basically the workout mode. Talking about the sports modes, you get the walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball and football. Then we have the heart rate menu and guys, this smartwatch comes with the continuous heart rate monitoring. Though the data seems accurate when you're wearing the watch, but we have noticed that it does show some random data when you keep the watch on a table, soft toy, or even on our Apple mouse. And the same thing we have noticed with the SpO2 monitoring. Next, we have the camera shutter option. And with this, you can use your smartwatch as a remote camera shutter. After that, we have the music controls and here you can control the music on your phone. You can also increase or decrease the volume. After that, we have the breathe menu, by which you can do some breathing exercises. Then in the menu, we have the flashlight. And after that, we have the settings. 
In the settings for some reason, we have the stopwatch, alarm and also the timer option, which I think should be on the main menu and not in the settings. After these options, we have the actual settings such as brightness, vibration, theater mode and the usual reset, power off and the QR code for the app. So that's all the features we have on this smartwatch and right now I can say that feature wise it's fine but we need to test the watch more to let you know more about the data accuracy. Now let's talk about the companion app Boatcrest. So here we are on the home page and first we have today's step count, calories burned and distance travelled. Then below it we have the heart rate, sleep data and you can also see the historical data by tapping on the menu. There is also a modes page and in this you can create your custom workout plan such as goal to lose weight, get fit and so on. And to be honest, if you use these features properly, then you will sure find them useful. Now coming back to the app, on the top you can see the connected device and the remaining battery of the watch. Now looking at the settings, first we have the watch faces and guys, you get lot of cloud based watch faces in the app. And you can also create a customizable watch face. After that we have the usual features such as sedentary reminder, alarms and then the watch settings. And here you can set your goal and in the watch settings, you can enable the wake gestures which works ok -ish. and we notice that the race to wake feature is a hit and miss. Then in the watch settings, we have the notifications and here you can select the apps for which you want the notification on your watch. And talking about it, here is how you get the call alert. You can also reject the call from the watch itself. And here is how you get the message alert. You don't get the preset replies option and also no emoji support. Then in the menu we have the auto heart rate and here you can set the time interval. And lastly for the iPhone users, you can connect the app with the Apple Health. So that's all the features we have in the companion app and the app looks good but a bit confusing. For example, for notifications, you have to go to the setting page, settings and then the watch settings. After that you'll find the notification option and according to me, the app should have a simple and a easy to use UI. So overall the bot watch vertex looks good on paper. The build quality is good and design wise though it's good but if you're expecting a full screen display then forget about it as you're getting a thick chain at the bottom of the screen. Performance wise the step counts are fairly accurate and even the heart rate and the SpO2 data seems accurate. But there is something wrong with the sensors and it does show reading of non-living things. Maybe a firmware update will solve this issue. But at the moment I won't be recommending this smartwatch to you as there are definitely few more options available under rupees 3000 which even offer bluetooth calling. So that's it guys this was the unboxing and overview of the Boat Watch Vertex. Let us know if you like it and also if you have any queries or questions about this smartwatch then do let us know in the comment section below. So that's all for now if you like this video then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.